a push for safer streets after two cyclists were killed this weekend in separate incidents just hours apart. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart explains the steps some are already taking. Jessica. And Tanya, Matt Butler with the Devote Good Foundation contacted the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet this morning to try to make the 4th and 11th Street bridges safer for people on bikes, and he's not the only one trying to make a difference. She loved to hike, camp, bike, and just explore. Gloria San Miguel was on her way home riding her bike on the 11th Street Bridge when she was hit and killed, and the driver drove off. It's, it's pretty horrible and tragic, and none of us expected this, you know? I mean, she's, she was young and she had so much to offer the world. She was one of two cyclists killed over the weekend. 71 year old Jeffrey Robbins was also hit and killed in Indian Hill by a juvenile who remained on scene. Robbins used to work for Cincinnati Children's Hospital Heart Institute. According to data from the Ohio Bicycle Federation, there have been 913 crashes involving cyclists in the greater Cincinnati area since 2016. 20 were fatal. 513 of those crashes happened in Hamilton County and eight were fatal. It, it makes me very sad, first of all. Susan Hoffman has been advocating for cyclist safety for years. I think education is key. And I think we need to educate the motorists and we need to educate the cyclists. We need to educate motorists that to, you know, to be safe around cyclists, to be patient with us. Crashes involving cyclists have been trending down since 2016, but Lee and Hoffman both think something needs to be done to make the road safer for cyclists. It, it might be a long battle. Uh, I don't expect to change overnight. I don't think anyone else does, but this will be something that we will be persistent about perpetually forever. Lee says he would like to see designated bike lanes throughout the city of Covington. Hoffman is cautious when it comes to bike lanes because she says bike riders can still get hit by parked cars when they open their door. Lee says he's really grateful for everyone who's reached out and has supported the family during this difficult time and wants the person who hit and killed Gloria to come forward. Live in Newport, Jessica Hart, WCPO 9 News. Oh.